Let's talk about nested timelines or nested sequences in Caden Live. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, nested timelines were introduced in Caden Live 23.04.0. And this is a highly welcome move and addition to Caden Live because now when you're working on huge projects, you can segment it into sequences or scenes and this will make your work much, much easier. Now, uh, let's begin by adding some footage. Let's say we want to go with a couple of videos here. Right there. Those are just three videos. Now, one thing I'd like you to notice is that there's a new folder called Sequences right here. And I can just expand it. And this is what it looks like. It is Sequence 1. Let's just close it. And then let's use the following footages to create some videos. So I can just add this there add this there and then add this other one uh, we can actually just insert truck let's say one truck above okay and then just drag and drop this particular one right about here so if i play this see that we have that video we've got this other one and then we've got this other one Let's assume those are your multi-layered uh, or whatever tracks or video that you have. So different cards, etc. Now, to create a sequence right here, what you can do is you can press on shift and then right click, uh, left click and select all this. Once you do that, you can just right click and say create sequence from selection. And you can call it whatever and just click OK. Now. This is going to create, this is sequence one and this is sequence two. So you'll see what sequence two has. It's more or less what is available in sequence one. But if I now click on this, you'll now notice that I have two sequences right here. That is highly welcome. And what happens is you can add effects to the sequences right here. Now, you can also create a sequence by going to something like project and then click on add sequence. And then we can call this something like maybe final. And we assume that you're already done with your footages and so on and so forth. So if that is done and you have sequence one, different clips, sequence two, different clips, just drag your sequence right there. And that is done. And then drag the sequence right here. And that is done. And you can now render your video. But this is the power of nested timelines or nested sequences in Caden Live helps you work in different sequences, couple of videos without overworking your system. You can imagine working on a whole hour of videos uh, right there and then. And then you'll now be able to see your sequences right here and then your final if that is what you're looking to do. It's highly welcome and that is how you can use nested sequences in Caden Live. Thanks for watching.